Hey everyone, in this video I will tell you about early signs and symptoms of diabetes mellitus. Before we begin, let me tell you there are mainly three types of diabetes mellitus. Type 1, here insulin is completely absent. Type 2, where either insulin formation decreases or the body is not responding to the insulin formed. Third one is gestational diabetes. The gestational diabetes develops in pregnant women who have never had diabetes. In this video, I will tell you about the first two types of diabetes that is type 1 and type 2 diabetes which are the most common forms. So how can you tell if you have diabetes mellitus? From here on, instead of saying diabetes mellitus, I will just say diabetes. The most early symptoms are from higher than normal levels of glucose. And glucose is a kind of sugar in your blood. Both type 1 and type 2 diabetes have some of the same telltale warning signs. So they share their warning signs. Though these warning signs may be mild especially in case of type 2 diabetes and it may even go unnoticed. While in case of type 1 diabetes, the symptoms usually occur early and are much more severe than type 2. Let's now take a look at the early signs of diabetes. First one, hunger and fatigue. The food that we eat is converted into glucose. And this glucose is utilized by our cells for energy. But our cells need insulin to take in glucose. And if the body doesn't make enough or any insulin or if the cells are resistant to insulin, then this glucose can't get into them and you have no energy. This can make you even more hungrier and more tired than usual. Second sign is peeing more often and being thirstier. A person with diabetes may need to pee a lot more than an average person. Normally, your body reabsorbs glucose as it passes through the kidney. But when the blood sugar goes up, as in the case of diabetes, the kidneys may not be able to bring it all back in. And this causes the body to make more urine and this takes more fluid. So this will make you very thirsty and you will drink more water. So when you drink more water, you will also pee more. Third is dry mouth and itchy skin. Because the body is using a lot of fluid to make urine, there's less moisture available for other things. And this can make you dehydrated and your mouth may feel dry and dry skin can make you itchy. Fourth is blurred vision. The changing fluid levels in the body can make the lens in the eye swell up and since the lenses change shape and can't focus properly, our vision is blurred. Let's now take a look at the symptoms of diabetes. The symptoms appear after the glucose level is high for a long time. The symptoms include fungal or yeast infection. The fungal infection may be seen in both men and women that are suffering with diabetes. The excess glucose in your body promotes this fungal infection and these infections can grow in any warm moist skin folds that include between finger and toes, under the breasts, in or around genital organs. Second, slow healing sores or cuts. So over the time, high blood sugar can affect the blood flow and it may even cause nerve damage. So the affected blood flow and nerve damage makes it hard for your body to heal wounds. Then pain or numbness in feet or legs. So the pain and numbness is also a result of nerve damage caused by high blood glucose. Next is unplanned weight loss. If your body can't get energy from the food that you consume, 
then the body starts to burn muscle and fat because it requires energy and because it is burning muscles and fat this leads to unwanted weight loss next is nausea and vomiting now when the body burns fat it makes ketones these ketones can build up in blood to dangerous levels when the body keeps on making ketones and these ketones can make you feel sick so it is the ketone accumulation that causes the feeling of nausea and vomiting now diabetes is a disease that can lead to certain complications and the signs which can act as a warning for these complications include first slow healing sores or cuts second itchy skin usually it is around the vaginal or groin area third frequent yeast infection or you can say frequent fungal infection then recent weight loss velvety dark skin changes of the neck armpit and groin area which is called acanthosis nigricans numbness and tingling of the hands and feet decreased vision impotence or erectile dysfunction a serious complication of prolonged increase in blood glucose is diabetic coma diabetic coma can even lead to death it may occur with either types of diabetes though it is more common in type 2 diabetes it happens when the blood sugar gets too high and your body gets severely dehydrated and its symptoms include first blood sugar above 600 mg per deciliter dry parched mouth extreme thirst warm dry skin that doesn't sweat you may even have a high fever sleepiness or confusion vision loss hallucinations and weakness on one side of your body so these are some warning signs that would indicate a pending diabetic coma so when do we visit a doctor or when should we consult a doctor if you are older than 45 or you have any other risk for diabetes it is important that you get tested when you spot the condition early you can avoid heart trouble nerve damage and various other complications so as a general rule consult your doctor if you feel very sick weak and very thirsty if you are peeing a lot if you have a bad belly ache if you are breathing more deeply and faster than usual if you have sweet breath that smells like nail polish remover see this sweet breath is a sign of very high ketones so it means that you have high ketone in your blood under these conditions it is important that you get yourself tested by a doctor so that's all for now hope you like this video and if you do like this video do like comment and share this video thank you